That's a wonderful question. If men and women were treated as equal, I think you'd see a huge transformation in society from the local level all the way to global. Um, and I think it, it would mean that if women and men had the same economic, social, political, cultural um, opportunities and you know pay and um, sense of security, I think you'd see that certain things that we hope for and aspire uh, to have in the world, like peace and harmony, better, stronger communication and relationships, I think it would happen uh, over time because the reason why we have so many um, issues that deal with um, anxiety or uh, larger issues of you know pay inequity, uh, global violence, gendered violence, uh, gendered sexual violence, human trafficking, a lot of these issues are the direct result of all of these differences and different types of experiences that men and women have from a very young age um, all the way through life. And imagine if we offered the same kinds of media representations for young girls um, that show them as being uh, in charge of their own destiny, not needing to be rescued or saved, um, being empowered and um, being encouraged to be smart and intellectual and thoughtful without focusing only on their body or the difference that they can make in a man's life. Um, I think if you had that at a young age and you had better storylines and representations and equality and you continued that uh, throughout a, a young woman's life where she also saw more representations of herself uh, in the culture and uh, in the workplace, in school, based on even the kinds of teachers and leaders that uh, you know, she or he might, uh, um, you know, basically look up to, um, the world would be completely different. So we wouldn't have these artificial binaries that cast um, roles and opportunities for, for one, um, you know, sex over another. And I think, you know, when you turn to some of the literature um, that's been written about the difference it would make if, if women had pay equity and social and cultural and economic and political equity, um, they're all pretty clear. It would make for... Um, very different societies in the sense that um, starting even from the interpersonal level and intrapersonal level, women would feel less of a need to be hyper-perfectionists. Um, and if you draw from the scholarship of Sheryl Sandberg, who is a COO of Facebook, um, she wrote a very influential book, Lean In, um, which offers some interesting perspectives on what women put themselves through from the time they're young all the way through their uh, careers. Uh, and even in terms of their personal lives. Women have an imposter syndrome, and they believe that no matter how good they are at something, that somehow, when they are actors uh, in life, in whatever aspect, from career to personal lives, that they're somehow uh, not good enough, that they've not been able to achieve as much as perhaps a man or another person that they envision who would be stronger or smarter or better capable. Um, and yet, this kind of um, syndrome um, is internalized at a very, very young age because of the cultural expectations for women to be perfect at everything. If they are going to be included at all or represented at all, they have to uh, embody so many characteristics of perfectionism. And if this is what women strive for, um, it's going to lead to a lot of uh, internalized issues, psychological issues, uh, stress, and um, imagine exacerbating that you know, throughout one's life. So I, I would say that um, you know, that's, that's one aspect of it. I think if men and women were equal, you'd also see that in addition to having um, brotherhoods and, and bro culture, I think you'd see a lot more sisterhood and um, sister power, which would be exciting because the culture doesn't really allow women um, a lot of uh, time or space to cultivate relationships with others in, in a way that's non-threatening or non-competitive. So I think women are taught to be so um, um, oh, I guess, um, how can I say this? They're, they're taught not to trust one another. They're taught to um, compete with one another. And that can be very damaging. So I think that if you had um, different expectations, women would work better together, and that would help everyone. And uh, I think also there's this notion, there's a, a, a queen bee syndrome, that when, when some women do make it, they've had to work so hard to get where they are that they often close the door behind them because they don't want other people to either be some form of competition down the line or uh, to attain the same success that they've worked so hard to attain. They want to preserve it. And that's a natural tendency and reaction. But I think if women had more equal opportunity 
um, and you saw more women at all levels and echelons of society who helped other women, uh, helped to cultivate them, train them, empower them, um, you wouldn't see that kind of reaction. So you'd have a lot more solidarity in terms of women helping young girls and women, and less of what the culture does, which is really uh, rip us apart from one another. So we need to go back to icons uh, that we saw with I Love Lucy. So Lucy and Ethel working together to figure out how to um, enjoy life and, and make fun out of uh, difficult moments in day-to-day -day life. So I, I think that you'd see a lot more peace, harmony, solidarity, but a lot more happiness uh, if you had equality between 